Hey y'all, welcome to this week's video. This is my last week of school, um, but first off, I wanted to start with a little bit of a, a talk real quick um, about the current situation in the United States. Um, I definitely do not have the answers, and I don't really know a whole lot. I am not super educated myself, but I just want to say that it's really important to educate yourself and take the time to understand the situation and formulate your own opinions. Um, I started this course yesterday offered through Yale over the African American experience since the Civil War. And that's just one of the things that I'm going to be doing to try and help myself be educated. And I will have some resources in the description below. Um, I'll have the link to this course there also. But I just wanted to say that it's important that you do take action and it starts with educating yourself and understanding first the history and what it means for us today and what that should lead to. Um, and also, I know this was true for myself, but if you get overwhelmed with everything on social media, take a break, disconnect, and remember that your well-being is also very important during this time because I know it can be very suffocating, very overwhelming seeing everything on social media. So just take time for yourself and you know, we're all tackling this together, so, you know, let's go out there and get something done, yeah? Okay. Now, let's travel back in time to last Monday, June 1st. <laughs> Starting off this crazy week with my music theory final exam and a uh, performance check in oral skills. Uh, I feel okay about both of them. Not super great about my theory test. Um, performance check and RL went a lot better than I was expecting it to go. Um, basically, there was a mix up with the scheduling for our performance checks, and we were told that they were going to be on Wednesday, but they're actually supposed to be starting today, Monday. Um, so I had the option, our, our teacher gave us the option of choosing some other time to go or just doing it um, on today, Monday. Um, I chose to just do it today because I felt like there was no point in waiting till Wednesday or some other day because I wasn't going to get any better at anything. <laughs> so I just went ahead and got that out of, out of the way. Um, now today, for the rest of the day, I just need to focus on my Spanish assignments of paper and then my final assignment for another class, um, another Spanish class. And then uh, the big thing is my music theory project. So that's, uh, yeah. I've just been taking naps. Um, it's 6.45 p.m. and I just woke up. Um, uh, yeah, today I'm spending 90% of my energy on um, my theory project because we found out today that it's got to be a recorded video rather than a live presentation that we thought we were doing. So. We are kind of stressed about that, but it'll be okay. Um, yeah.
say hello. majority of this week is just gonna be me taking naps. I'm so tired. I got a lot going on. Um, there's a lot up in my head, a lot that I need to get done. Uh, just so much stuff all at the same time. And it's pretty overwhelming, kind of suffocating, um, but just gotta get through it. I'm working on my music theory project right now. I've just spent a few hours editing up our video. Um, it's not completely done, so waiting on a few parts, but it's getting there. Um, what we have so far is the majority of it's done. Uh, we have a lot of cuts in you just to make sure it all flows smoothly, um, waiting for a few parts, but overall, overall it's pretty much there. Um, yeah. Been in a funky mood lately. A lot has been going on in my mind, but we get through it. Hey, guess what? Bang! Would you look at that? It's done. An analysis of Mozart's horn quintet in E flat major is now uploaded. my music theory project last night to like 2.45 um, but yeah this week is really hitting but I've gone past I think the busiest part the next big thing I have to focus on is my Spanish paper and I'm really not looking forward to writing that cuz I, I just don't know how I'm gonna do it but you know we'll see how it goes Gotta get some practicing done now. I have a skill test tomorrow in my lesson. Woohoo!
Okay, one page down, two to four to go. Um, at this rate, I should be able to finish this paper probably around Saturday night, hopefully. And I have a meeting with a professor on Monday afternoon um, to go over the paper grammatically and look at some errors that I have so that I'll have time to be able to fix them before the actual paper is due on Tuesday night. So, yep. Do I have any idea what I'm writing? Not really. Is it working? Probably not. But it has to be done. <sighs> now we get to move on to finishing the Spanish reading that's due tomorrow. The 26 pages of Spanish reading. But I did about half of it yesterday, so hopefully this won't take too long. Hi guys, my name is Jason, and I don't want to write papers anymore. Today is Thursday, it was my last studio class and lesson of my freshman year, and I'll be making another video kind of talking about the year as a whole in spring quarter, but it, basically... Yeah, the studio today was really good. We had three people play and they were all insanely, insanely well prepared and they played so well. Um, it, was, it was absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, it was great. Uh, my lesson went pretty well. Had my scale test and it was pretty chill. Uh, we spent a lot of time just talking about things. Um, I had some questions I wanted to ask and yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, it's 1 a.m. right now, and I, I just... I have a music theory essay that's due tomorrow morning, and I have to continue working on my Spanish paper. Um, my Spanish professor is supposed to be giving us comments back on our topic proposal that we had turned in recently, and I'm hoping I don't have to change anything about my topic because I've already written a page and it would suck if I'd have to scrap it and rewrite it starting tomorrow. So fingers crossed there. Yeah, we'll get an update on that whenever that happens, but <sighs> gotta grind out some writing tonight. <laughs> Okay fam, we've got about two pages done. I'm a few lines shy of finishing up this second page, but I think it's good enough for tonight. Um, I have tomorrow to finish up a third page and then Saturday to get to the fourth if I need because the paper is limited to three to five pages, but we'll see how things go from here. It is currently 3 a.m., so I think I'm gonna get ready for bed. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for my last day of class. Also, if you're wondering, yes, I did take a nap today, but I did not film anything about it because I decided, y'all yeah, have already seen enough of that. I mean, <laughs> I'm literally just napping my way through this week, but it's fine. It's chill. Like, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm doing great. Tomorrow's the last day, so eh, let's get it. Hi, we're doing this one last time. Yay. Well, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this unicorn onesie today. Well, it's my last day of class 
for my freshman year end of spring quarter and we started off spring quarter in the same onesie so I thought you know we'd do a little a little first full, full circle kind of thing and we'd finish with this onesie so that's why I'm wearing this onesie today I don't know if you can tell I'm really tired <sighs> My arm is kind of, kind of tired from pulling at this camera. But I gotta go class now, so I will see y'all later. Alright Chris, I'm expecting a banger drawer. Wait, a banger drawer. What is this? looks like a turkey but it's not a turkey I promise the turkeys don't have blue legs like that um, what else can we add ah dang it <laughs> why not <Doug? laughs> done with class for freshman year. Now I just have this essay to worry about, but that's due on Tuesday, so we chillin. Um I took a pretty fat nap today after oral skills. We played Scriblio, which was so much fun. I was dying the whole time. It was amazing. It was so good. Um, but yes, I'm done with class. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have taken three naps today. Three. Three naps. <laughs> For a total of six hours. <laughs> um, sleep schedule does not exist, <laughs> but hey, I'm basically done with my Spanish paper for tonight-ish. I have six lines left to get to the end of the page, but um, I finished the paragraph, so I don't want to start a new idea tonight, I'd rather just do that tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's 2.17 a.m. and I'm wide awake. Because I napped for six hours today. In the past, not even 24 hours, I've gotten a total of nine hours of sleep. But six of those were from napping. <laughs> I guess they're all naps. I mean, actually, how do you define a nap? 
I personally define a nap as no longer than two hours. Anything, or actually, I don't know. I don't know. Definitely four hours is, is, a, is like a sleep. It's like a mini sleep. Three hours? Three hours is like in the middle. I don't know. Okay, whatever. I'm done for tonight. Wow. It's before 1 a.m. And I'm working on my paper? That's crazy. <laughs> um, one of the requirements for this paper is that we have to find two outside sources, whether they be like articles, videos, or whatever. But we just have to find two of these to incorporate into our paper, uh, into our argument. Um, and I didn't really realize that was a requirement until yesterday. Oh, by the way. My professor did accept my topic proposal and said it was actually pretty good. He said it was a good idea. And I was surprised because I thought I had the wrong idea about what this paper was. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what to do for those articles. I have one and I've written about that, but I need to find another one and figure out how to incorporate it into my paper. Um, so I'm gonna finish up this paper tonight, send it off to the professor, because I have an appointment with a professor at the Spanish Writing Center on Monday, and since my paper is over three pages long, I have to send it 24 hours before the appointment, which would be tomorrow afternoon. So I need to finish this paper up tonight, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, this is, this is looking pretty good, I think, maybe, hopefully. Saturday. Finish my essay. I ended up getting to basically the whole five page limit because there was one paragraph that I'd included in my topic proposal that I completely forgot about when I was writing. So adding that in took me to the end of the five pages. Um, hopefully I included everything I need to just sent it off to the professor that's going to be looking at it from the Spanish Writing Center. So he will have tomorrow to look at it and then we'll meet on Monday to discuss grammatical errors and anything that needs to be fixed um, so that I have enough time to get all that stuff taken care of before it's due on Tuesday night. So we're all set there. <sighs> Let's see. Today. Today was really nice just because I just didn't have to do anything my first day with no class. Um, I had a Zoom call for a couple hours with a couple guys from my small group. Um, Josh and Hijun, we talked about my channel today, so if you're watching this video, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, these guys are awesome. We've been doing these calls every week or every couple weeks throughout the quarter and it's been really nice checking in with them every weekend and just being able to talk with them about life and how things have been going for us. Um, I've really found value in those talks every week. So again, if y'all are watching, let's keep this up. I'd, re I'd really love to keep in touch with y'all and, and just be able to talk whenever we find time. So yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna chill because I'm done with work and you know honestly I feel kind of proud of it I do I think the essay is good not really but am I proud that I finished it yeah so yeah I'm gonna leave y'all with that and I will see y'all tomorrow maybe who, who knows we'll see <laughs> bye all right it is Monday it's 2 12 p.m. and my appointment with the Spanish writing center guy is in three minutes 
pretty nervous because I don't know whether we're gonna be talking about the content of the paper or not and just like I'm sure there's a bajillion grammatical mistakes in there uh, <laughs> but I don't know. we'll see how it goes Mm. Okay. Las consecuencias del abuso emocional incluyen bajo autoestima, ansiedad, baja autoestima, ansiedad, depresión y más. Uh, el hecho de que los niños sufran de estas consecuencias como resultado del maltrato psicológico de sus padres es un indicador de que la familia perfecta no existe. Okay, it's 2:56. My meeting just ended. Um, we went to the last minute. I really didn't. I was not expecting it to go the full 40 minutes because in the past, when I've gone to the Spanish writing center, it didn't take this long. But given my paper was a lot longer this time, but we went through every sentence, three, just word by word. And he was giving me suggestions on what to fix, on how to fix it grammatically, but also at the end he gave me a couple ideas for content that I could include just to make the paper stronger. Yeah, I was really nervous going into this, but uh, it was definitely very helpful to see some of the mistakes that I had made that I could have fixed on my own if I just was more conscious about them, but also having him go through it with me was really nice because he was able to give me a lot of pointers and and he was just a really good resource for me um, to get this paper to the next level. So we good. I'm, I've got some things that I can consider adding or taking away. So I'm gonna give some thought to that and um, get this paper turned in tomorrow. Mientras el narrador no, no cuenta las reacciones de Ignacio, es cierto que el maltrato emocional ha causado sufrimiento psicológico. Sufri oh, su sufrimiento psicológico. All right, y'all, it's time. It's Tuesday at 2 p.m. I'm gonna give my paper a final read through before I submit it. And this is really not something I usually do. I never reread my papers before I submit. I usually just finish it and get that bad boy in, but I'm just gonna read through it real quick and make sure I'm not missing anything and then get this thing submitted. And then I'll be officially done with freshman year. All right, let's see what we got. Esta es la imagen de la familia ideal creada y promovida por la sociedad. Sin embargo, esta familia no existe en realidad. A través de la descripción, All right, let's get this thing submitted. Okay, final essay. Submit assignment. Choose a file. Final essay. I agree. Submit assignment. Yes! Hey, we are done. We are officially done with freshman year. Whew, it's nice. Feels good. All right, well, that's basically the end of the video. <laughs> um, I'll be making a video later on in the summer about my reflections on my first year of college, but we're officially done. So, yeah. We out. Peace. <laughs> um, yeah, this is another video. Uh, it's a pretty long one, sorry about that. But I hope you enjoyed watching. 
and yeah I don't have any like real plans in terms of summer courses or whatever for the summer so I'm gonna just be chilling taking a little break from school um, we'll see what happens but yep yeah, I'm done okay well yeah thanks for watching have a great week I will see y'all I guess tomorrow for a cover but yeah remember to stay in and be fantastic and just be good people, right? care about others, and be good people. Okay, bye.